Ya yeah, karibu sana, karibu sana mtazamaji kwa kipindi chetu cha Moms and Babies Show. Last episode uh, daktari tulikuwa nae Dr. Justus Nondi and we were talking about fertility and infertility. Remember he's our expert again. Na leo tutoka tuangalie about uh, we talk about miscarriage because pia ni issue imesumbua watu sana. The people who've tried to you know to have babies lakini imekuwa a problem like they can't carry the baby to term and maybe there are causes na labda ni mambo ambayo yanaweza yakarekebishwa ukasaidika na mwisho ukaweza kuwa na furaha ya kubeba mtoto wako and that is why we have our experts today our ladies uh, marafiki zangu hapa tuko sawa pia tuko ngangari <laughs> i know kwamba there's there's one of your neighbor biti uh, who was asking you about this topic ya uh, miscarriage ajua atapata at least information leo yeah karibu yeah. karibu sana na daktari thank you thank yeah you. Mm. so uh, today we just want to know to talk about miscarriage okay. ajua kwamba kuna maybe you can talk to us about uh, symptoms and then maybe how do i know kwamba ndio hiyo yani th- th- those are the symptoms kwamba ndio hiyo miscarriage inakuja are there things that maybe unazifanya mwenyewe to maybe to cause that and uh, do we have a treatment for the same mm-hmm. yeah right. mm. so thank you thank you so much uh, <coughs> miscarriage is also very common yeah. uh, around in our society mm. and it is something that really causes stress to the number of couples mm-hmm. and uh, understanding it therefore is very important okay. Uh, as you asked miscarriage is a broad area as well and uh, we have so many factors that can cause miscarriage remember miscarriage happens after conception has happened fertilization has happened and the baby has started getting implanted and growing then for some reason the pregnancy disappears or pregnancy gets uh, or out okay Yeah. So among the factors that cause miscarriage include number one, mm. things like infections. Mm? Infections. Infections? Yes. yes. Mm-hmm. Infections uh, can cause miscarriage. Okay. Uh, you have seen uh, you know those infections that present with discharge, mm. uh, be they STIs, uh, sexually transmitted infections or uh, any other infection that uh, affect the genital system. Mm. They could also be miscarriages can also be caused by things that are inside the uterus. Okay. Things like fibroids, mm-hmm. growths mm-hmm. will make the baby that is trying to grow inside there not to have enough space. So as the baby tries to get big, yes. there is no space. Okay. So it comes out. Mm-hmm. Uh, we can also have situations where the uterus is not a normal uterus. It is from the way from birth. Mm-hmm the uterus is not this uh, uh, shape maybe it is um, it, it is a different shape that makes the inside too small okay. for it to carry a uh, pregnancy okay mm-hmm. we can have issues like uh, something called the cervix not being good okay. and the cervix the mlango ya uterus mm. yeah so mlango ya uterus during pregnancy should be closed all the time hiyo mlango ifunguliwe until the time ya yeah, ku deliver okay so when you have anything that is trying to open the door or the door mm-hmm. you've seen these doors that are malfunctioning they just keep opening yes yeah mm-hmm. that's how some cervix uh, behave okay. it is not able to hold so we call it cervical incompetence mm-hmm. yeah so if that is happening yes. whatever is inside it attacka to kutoka okay yeah uh, we also have situations like uh, for uh, uh, for the pregnancy mm. to continue inside mm. it has to be supported by hormones okay. yeah the hormones are produced uh, by the ovary and these hormones are giving nutrition they are giving support to this to this uh, pregnancy inside here mm. so if those hormones are less or kidogo those who have hormonal imbalance yes they will not be able to make the the baby grow so the baby will come out. Okay. Mm. We also have situations where 
some ladies who are expecting become I mean engage in vigorous exercises okay or they fall or maybe uh, some domestic violence happens mm. and the baby that was there gets weak the attachment is weak and the bleeding starts and the baby comes out okay uh, in some situations we have uh, things we call chromosomal uh, imbalances mm -hmm. we have the egg and the sperm not of good mix yeah and therefore whatever is forming mm. is not a baby yeah and the body recognizes that that here mm -hmm. there's something forming mm -hmm. but it's not a real it's not a, a, a proper baby okay yeah, maybe in a form with many malformations so the body decides that we cannot carry anything that is not a baby so it gets out what? yes so when the body body is very brighter mm. when it realizes that something abnormal is happening yeah. it gets it out okay yeah now there's a bulk of cases mm. many cases mm. of miscarriages that you can look for reasons why and you don't find oh. yeah we call them uh, unknown miscarriages re miscarriages due to unknown reasons mm -hmm. that also happens oh. yeah. okay so, so how do you know that um i miscarry i've miscarried because of this reason yeah mm. sometimes and most of the time it's not very easy to know the reason mm -hmm. Mm. yeah but uh, when someone has a miscarriage yes we do some tests to find out what is happening okay. yeah we can do an ultrasound and we might find that the fibroid and you may cause your miscarriage mm. yeah. uh, sometimes we go and look at the hormones in the body of this lady so that we we know that these hormone levels were this way mm. and because the levels were low Mm, that's probably the reason why miscarriage happened. Okay. We can also do some blood tests to see if there are infections in the body. Mm -hmm. yeah, so there are various things we can do. But in a number of cases, we don't, uh, we end up not really knowing. It happens without any good reason. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. So can stress also yes, yes, yes. Uh, contribute to a miscarriage? Very, very correct. Mm. Remember, stress affects many of the inside mm. so when you are stressed mm. that can also be a factor sometimes mm. changes in environment mm. can also affect uh, the levels of hormones mm. and that there is a letter uh, miscarriage mm. so so yeah, and mm. maybe from the man mm. that can also contribute to yes mm. the miscarriage yes it's true mm. sometimes the quality of the sperm that fertilized the egg was poor mm -hmm. So whatever is developing is also of a poor quality, mm -hmm. and the body decides to remove it. So, so ule mama mnyani aliweza kujifungua kwa na stress kibao. Yeah. Tuna sema we we ni mama yao, ama what happened? Yeah. So we have different mechanisms <laughs> for body. Kuna wale wako na stress, but they're able to manage. Their bodies can manage. Mm -hmm. uh, that those who are part of stress at a kidogo, mm -hmm. they break down. Mm -hmm. yeah, so we have different personalities. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So treatment, doctor? So treatment for this mm -hmm. depends on now the cause. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and we have different things we can do. Mm -hmm. I'll give you an example. Kama mlango ya uterus ndio mm. iko na shida. Yeah. So what we do once the a mother becomes pregnant, mm -hmm. we go to theater and close this with a stitch. Oh. We stitch it. Okay. Mm, yeah. mm, to hold it. Mm. And the stitch remains there until uh, the baby is now ready to be born, mm -hmm. then we go back and we remove the stitch. So when we remove the stitch, the, the mlango opens mm -hmm. and the baby comes out. Okay. okay. So that is one uh, uh, way. Mm. If the cause of miscarriage is fibroids, mm. we go in and remove the fibroids uh, through surgery mm. and uh, then allow the lady to conceive. If oh, so you iki and ivo mm. like natoa, mm. so that now the next pregnancy yes. can survive. Yes. Mm. If it is because of some hormones mm. that are not enough in the body, mm. then we for cutting the pregnancy happens. Mm -hmm we put our patients on this hormone on medicines okay. that uh, boost the levels to make sure that this uh, pregnancy stays. Mm. So it depends on what is causing it. For those causes that are unknown, mm. 
those are the ones that are very difficult to manage mm-hmm. but there are certain things we, we do there are certain uh, medications we put our patients on mm-hmm. and it helps them to carry the pregnancy mm-hmm. yes yeah kuna friend yangu uh, i think when alikuwa pregnant akasema tiameambiwa aende hus amefanywa ile the antenatal profile yes and then ameambiwa aende hospitali mm-hmm. apewe dawa ya resas mm-hmm. so like for so that anaweza kuzaa kuipata mtoto after 9 months mm. so you know for for us ukiambiwa resus now layman mm. you don't even understand What why the doctor is saying that yeah, mm. yeah so there are uh, some people mm-hmm. who have blood group that is called resus negative mm-hmm. okay yeah there's some something in the blood that is called resus factor mm-hmm. yeah so if you don't have it you're called negative if you have it you're called resus positive mm-hmm. so uh, eight out of 10 people randomly have it mm-hmm. two out of 10 do have one mm-hmm. yeah so if you get married or if you have a child with a man mm-hmm. who is resus positive and you are resus negative mm-hmm. it a letter shida kwa mtoto okay yeah so in order ili mtoto asiwe na shida inside because that shida can even lead to miscarriage yeah one of zina fight hiyo factor ikipata kwenye factor haiko yes. they they fight mm. Mm, this fighting so it's not like like in physics positive mm. and negative attract mm. each other no no for uh, if you have a positive and negative mm. they don't agree mm. you either have positive and positive mm. or negative and negative oh. yeah so if there's positive and negative especially positive for the mother yes. uh, uh, for the father mm. and negative for the mother kutakuwa na shida hapo mm-hmm. so the mother will have to be given some injection to cool the the hasira ya hiyo mm-hmm. positive mm-hmm. that's how i can put it simply mm-hmm. yeah so that is yangamize mtoto uh, yeah that's why you your friend was told to go for that injection mm-hmm. yes ama fruits si kuna watu wanasemanga ukikula sivini popo sivini nambo ama 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 t-shirts karibu zote ziko tu sawa except a few mm. for example uh, kitu kama coffee is not very good a lot of it okay. yeah when you're pregnant mm. yeah uh, of course things like alcohol and smoking those are also causes of of miscarriage yes. so which should be avoided mm. yeah but foods like fruits any kind of fruit basically is okay mm. yeah mm. provided you're taking a lot of water Yeah, your body needs a lot of water in pregnancy. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. So no one should uh, really scare you. We yeah. have we never ate pineapples. Paka vile tulijifungua. Yeah. No no no. They are very f- safe yeah. and you can uh, take in pregnancy. Oh. Mm. As much as you want. Okay. And then daktari kuna ile time yenye mtu ana miscarriage na miscarriage na miscarriage mpaka anaambiwa sasa wewe hakuna yeah. kushika mimba uh, mimba tena mm. imetosha. Yeah. You, you or maybe if you if you conceive again yeah. you'll hurt yourself. Yeah. So ni nini ndakuwa gani imefanyika? Yeah so there are people who have miscarriage. One thing I need to tell you mm. is that when you get a miscarriage mm. and then you get another miscarriage. Mm chances are high that the third one will be a miscarriage unless something is done okay yeah so miscarriage uh, a past experience of miscarriage attracts another one mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. unless something is done about it eh? mm. and therefore uh, it's important that any time a miscarriage happens you need to seek medical advice and care mm. so that you prevent the next from happening mm-hmm. now there are times when you may have had several miscarriages uh, and we advise you to stay for some time okay. when you're giving your treatment without conceiving mm. yeah, so that you give your uterus time mm-hmm. to also become healthy yes. and be in a position to carry a pregnancy and that's why we do that okay mm. is it possible for kuna mtu an ali miscarry the first pregnancy mm. and then from there mm. sasa ajifungui tena ani haizi conceive again yes so is it because maybe is it uh, maybe uh, is the miscarriage a reason for to, uh, for not conceiving again that is both true and and not true mm. true because 
when the first miscarriage happened, mm -hmm. was this lady cleaned? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you need to be cleaned. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or did she just leave things like that? Mm -hmm. If she was not cleaned, mm -hmm. it is possible mm -hmm. that the remnants of the pregnancy went and blocked the tubes. Mm. Yeah. So that in the next attempt, she's now not able to conceive. Mm. And that's why anytime a miscarriage happens, make sure that you visit your doctor. The doctor will be able to establish whether you need to be cleaned or not. Yeah, because if you leave some things inside, they can cause infection and blockage of okay. the tubes. Mm. Mm. Okay. So, kuna watu wenye unapata, iyo umesema mlangu kufunguka. Yeah. Unapata mtu amebeba iyo ujauzito yeah. up to maybe at a seven. Yeah. Alafu, miscarriage inafanyika. Yes. So, it means, ina, izo courses oh. umesema doesn't matter kuwa. Yes. Like, the, it doesn't matter mm -hmm. the age of the pregnancy. No, it matters. Mm. Uh, we see some, some kind of miscarriages yeah. in the first trimester. Mm -hmm first three months mm -hmm. and the next three months and other types yes. and the last three months. Okay. So the one in the Mlango in Afunguka who are in a happen mainly from second trimester Iki and the Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. The ones that are caused by things like infections and so on happen very early. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it depends on which trimester you're talking about. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. So now is it uh, myths and misconceptions in uh, like now traditional like where I come from, yeah. yeah, we are Christians, but sometimes when I pata na kwambia, maybe the, the, you didn't like kama ulienda kuolewa and ukuli pa dawari the way ni kana na waze that you know whatever like um, it's gonna affect you, yeah. so you have to still go back home, you clear that for you to be able to have babies mm -hmm. and maybe that that can be one of the causes of miscarriage mm -hmm. so i don't know mm -hmm. i don't know sometimes you find out maybe those are known issues yeah, yeah. Uh, for miscarriage yeah mm. yeah there are myths uh, as you've said mm. but uh from scientific point of view they are really not true mm -hmm. yeah they're not but you see uh, the mind also plays a role. Eh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, once you believe that, mm -hmm. it affects yeah. you and your level of stress. Mm -hmm. So stress is the one that now brings oh. the changes in hormones, mm -hmm. and that can actually cause discourage. Okay. Yes. Na kuna kuna watoto wa wastana wakiwa wadogo, mtu bado hajaolewa, unapata some people like we were being told here and they asked that last time. Kumbwa if you are not uh, you are not a family. Um, you're not supposed to use the contraceptives, mm -hmm. but you find kwamba wasitana wengine wadogo wanaanza kuzitumia mapema. So can that also be, can that cause someone to miscarry in case now you want to, to be having your own babies? Uh, rarely, you mm -hmm. see, most of the time uh, contraception mm -hmm. or contraceptives mm -hmm. don't really cause uh, miscarriage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are some contraceptives that can delay your ability to Conceive. Okay. Yeah, but not to. I mean, they don't really cause miscarriage. Mm. No. So, so. Yes, uh, abortion mm. and yes, the same thing we have just talked about. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when abortions are done mm. and the uterus is not cleaned, mm -hmm. whatever remains there blocks the, the tubes mm. and causes mm. the ability to conceive. Oh. Okay, and and the theory is it that your your process here, yeah, like there's a friend of mine, Ali mm. then a couple of them come back, we need to pay like a house, we can say man, that's funny, why MVA, my friends, hey, my friends screamed. Yeah. Why is it painful like that? It is a painful process mm. because what happens? Yes. Is that uh, inside uh, the medical uh, special uh, practitioner mm. goes in with a set of instruments into the uterus and scraps out what is there, come out. Now, it is a painful process, but we recommend that it is done in theater, so that in theater you're given medicine that you should, uh, that will, be, will you not feel anything. Mm. Yeah, in this situations where you see, you hear people saying, you may call painful, nile mm. wa without uh, giving those medicines that prevent pain. Oh. Otherwise, if medicines are given, mm. no one feels pain at all. Mm. Yeah. Where, 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 where? Yes. You have a history, uh, kupata watoto preterm. Yeah. 
Is it also in the same line and miscarriage? Na nini nini? Yeah, it is possible. <laughs> yeah, that uh, what is causing the preterm birth is something that is happening with the uterus. Pengine hata ya mlango tunasema inakuwa very weak towards the end. Yeah, so inapata watoto very early. Yeah, so you need all if you have that history, you always need to be followed up by a, a good doctor mm-hmm. like during your pregnancy. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Na mfuatiliwa na na daktari. So so mtu wenye amekuwa na miscarriage, inafaa you walk that journey now with a doctor. With a doctor. Yes. Mm. Right. Okay. Because the doctor will be in a position to know that this is likely to happen and that let's prevent this. Mm. Yeah, by constantly examining you, doing tests for you mm. uh, and so on as you move. Mm. Age, yeah, yeah. age, age is important. Yes. Mm, as I told you, mm. from 35, uh, your chances of miscarrying are also high. Mm. Yeah. Your uterus is not the same as a, a 26 year old. Mm-hmm. At a comma. Mm. Yeah, the, 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 the way it is, it starts becoming uh, more like um, less, it's, it's not able to carry a pregnancy as well as someone who is is much younger mm. yeah so age is very very important of course weight is also important we encourage uh, women who intend to get uh, pregnant <coughs> to you know do exercises and uh, also have weight reduction because it also helps to prevent miscarriages so what you think what was i before that way if possible <laughs> yeah that would be a strong recommendation. If you've never conceived until around 28 years, you have issues. Sijima, there's a possibility of fibroids. Yeah, and there's not really a myth. Fibroids come when they find uterus that is not getting busy. Yeah, uterus, uh, the way we've known it, and needs to be busy from the time one reaches 18 years mm. all the way to around uh, uh, 40 something mm. so if you if your uterus is always having nothing chances are high that fibroids will start occupying it mm-hmm. yeah so it is not really a myth it's sort of real yeah so like um kuna there's something who wanna say ma like they encourage women to go and do um to to do a cervical check huh? yes uh, the, the the cervix is checked for the cervical cancer to come iso so like um na most of majority of women like never go for such yeah. so mtu anapatwa na maybe symptoms ni ndio unaenda unapata labda kuna hiyo problem yeah. so is that also like you've been is that can you group that as uh, infections then maybe is in a cause um, miscarriage yeah so uh, infections can involve when the cervix mm. and can from the cervix remember cervix is this part yeah so when the cervix is infected it can that infection can come up mm-hmm. to the uterus and cause miscarriage yeah? Mm-hmm. yeah but chronic or, or what we call um, long term mm. infection of the cervix here yeah? mm. particularly by a virus that we call hpv you've heard of hpv yes yeah Uh, is not very good to the cervix because it changes the the cells of the cervix mm. and they start becoming cancerous mm. that's why we recommend that uh, at least yearly we go and check the the cervix and see whether it is healthy mm-hmm. if it is not healthy there is something that can be done to make it healthy mm-hmm. and that is what we call pap smear mm-hmm. or even uh, screening mm-hmm. of uh, for cervical cancer mm. yeah okay so that one can also cause um, miscarriage just, just in case it's there yes and you're not aware that is true mm. yeah. so sawasawa kwa hivyo i know kwamba if you have any question mtazamaji our norm is that you uh, drop your question pale kwenye comment section on our facebook and also on our sms line ziko pale kwa tv and uh, if you have any issue that you want us to discuss 
uh, tutakuwa huko nje just to look out for the experts so that wanaweza kuja kwa show and to help us understand the issue further and remember i've just told you kwamba our uh, expert here dr justas nundi namba yake pia kwa pale kwa screen and i know kwamba there are people maybe who have been suffering from miscarriage na maybe hujakuwa ukijua you know where to go and find help I know he's in a better position to help you. Just get in touch with him. Jokomba ataweza kuwa guide and uh, have your baby successfully. Uh, vile ametuambia kwamba there is hope, kwamba there is treatment to all this. Yeah, so until next time, this Moms and Babies show where you celebrate life by walking the motherhood journey together. Kwa heri!